Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. If you are in this situation that you are trying to open a website on Google Chrome but you are receiving this information or this error which is telling this site can be reached, then you have to run through different methods to solve this problem. Unfortunately, Google Chrome uses this kind of notification for many different problems that your internet connection may have. But, but we're going to summarize the most useful methods how to fix this problem on this video. So first of all, what you have to do, you have to open your Google Chrome and you have to go over settings. So we go over here and once you go over these three dots here, then you go over settings at the almost at the end of the list of the options that Google Chrome is providing. This is the latest version of Google Chrome. So if you are not using this one, then you just have to find where is the settings are. And what we need to do, we have to delete the cache. So this is the first thing that you have to do. So we choose then from the options here, privacy and security, and, and here it is, delete browsing data. So we click over here and then we delete the history. So we choose here all the time. I know this is not the best thing that you wanna do, but it, this will help you to fix this kind of problems that you may have with your Google Chrome when you are sure that you have internet connection, but you actually cannot reach to these websites. One thing that you have to try is to open another browser to see if, okay, this is related with Google Chrome or it's actually something related with your computer and internet connection and it's not related with the browser. So after we deleted the browser data, so we click over delete data, this will take some time. Once you do this, then you try it again if it will fix this problem. The next thing that you have to do is inside of your computer. So let's say that now the problem is not on the Google Chrome itself, but it's inside of the computer, then we have to do the below. The first thing, we have to check if we have activated proxy for our computer. For that, we just search here at search proxy settings. And once you see proxy, you click on it in order to open. This is the same thing if you are using Windows 10 or Windows 11, you just search there proxy and then it will show the settings for the proxy. Or you go under network and internet and then you find proxy. In my case, proxy server is off so but you just check if your proxy server is activated you have to make sure that it's not activated so you just do off in case that you really don't need but if you have a proper proxy server then it's a different story but if you have activated proxy server but you don't need it you just disable it and then try it again if google chrome is fixed the next thing that we need to do is to open network settings so we can go over control panel and then over there we choose network and internet and over there we choose network and sharing center and once you are here you click over your wireless connection or ethernet connection that you have here so we choose here and then we choose properties and over this vlan properties you have to deactivate internet version 6. this has been causing some problems sometimes so it's better if you deactivate and you check if this will fix the problem that you have so after we deactivate it we press over ok and close and then we try it again if this problem is solved good so we go around again on the same settings so you can find this settings network and sharing center with different ways by just searching here network and sharing center or you go through settings or you go through control panel important is to come on this kind of page and the other thing that we need to try is that we click over change adapter settings or you can find this also from here like we showed properties and then you come on this page the other method is we click over change adapter settings and then you check which adapter is connected with your pc you click over there again properties and then what we need to do is we click over internet version 4 and then we choose properties here and over here we have to make sure that it's obtaining an ip address automatically in case that you haven't configured a static ip address i would suggest that you use this one if your network is not using static ip addresses and then you can use the second option for the dns server use the following dns server so these are the google dns servers so we can use those and then we try it again we click over validate settings upon exit and then we press over ok and then close and this will show you the detecting problems etc etc but it's okay and this should solve if you have problems with your dns server on your computer good then the next thing that you need to do is to go over search and you type here cmd or command prompt and then you run as administrator.cmd 
you press over yes and so now what we're going to do on cmd we're going to release the ip address that it's assigned for now to my pc and then we get a new one for that what we do we write ip config then slash release and then we press enter this will disconnect from your internet connection and then we write again ip config ip config slash renew and this will give you another ip address good so that's working and this should give you a chance to fix this kind of problem the next thing that we need to try is to flash the dns so we write here ip config then again flash dns so these commands i will put on the description below so you can just copy and paste if you want or you just write it in the same way like i did right now ip config and slash flash dns Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. This will be one of the most used methods to fix this kind of problem. And if neither of these methods didn't fix your problem, then the last thing that you need to try is to reset your network settings. How we do that? So for that, we just go over settings or you just search here network settings and then you go all through that but i'm going to go through settings in my case and then from the options on the left you choose network and internet and then you scroll till you find advanced network settings and from here you have to search network reset so we click over network reset here and then we choose reset now this will remove and then reinstall all your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. This is rare where you really need to install the VPN client, but for sure you will have the chance to fix this problem by doing this network reset. Another way how to come into this page in network setting is by just going over your Ethernet connection that you have here at the taskbar and you click with the right of the mouse and then you choose network and internet settings and then you choose advanced network settings and then you come at the, this page here where I showed to you network reset and then you click over reset now. I'll show you on to reset your network settings. We click over yes and this will reset the settings. It will ask you to log out from your computer in five minutes so if the reset of the network settings will happen so good those were the main methods how to fix this kind of problem on your google chrome or if you have network or internet connection issues with your computer all these methods that i just showed here will help you to fix problems that you may have to reach some kind of website on your google chrome or in another browser actually the same things that I just did right now will help you. And the main thing is just, first of all, check if you have internet at the switch or router that you have at your home or at your work or whatever, check it with another device, let's say with a phone or something like that, and to make sure that, okay, this is something local and it's only on your PC. So you don't spend time on your PC and actually it's not the PC fault, but it's the switch or router that is having these issues. Thanks a lot for watching and please consider subscribing to our channel. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.